Is it over? E3 is over. Well, let's get over the E3 hangover and look at this week's hype. Hey everyone, welcome to this week's hype. Uh, welcome back. We did have a little bit of a hiatus there for this little like Father's Day, summer, NBA finals kind of thing. E a little bit kind of nursing the E3 hangover. Uh, but let's get into the week and we'll see what's coming out this week. Uh, let's start with Blu-ray. Uh, we're going to have two movies that are coming out that are notable, I guess, notable release. The first is uh, 300, Rise of an Empire. Um, I liked the first one. This one just seems to be a cash grab. I didn't really get to watch it. Um, I may try to, like, you know, on demand it or something, pay the $3, $4, whatever, to kind of see it just to get it out of my system. But overall, I don't know if this is going to be a real buy for me. Um, other than that, which I will probably get, is Criterion is releasing the Blu-ray of Beatles' Hard Day's Night. Uh, big fan of these movies. I do have help. I do have the original Hard Day's Night on DVD uh, and a few others. But uh, coming to Blu-ray with Criterion I think is going to be super, super awesome. Uh, only one movie to talk about in theaters this week, and it is a catastrophe. Yes, I'm talking about Transformers. Michael Bay continues to destroy, destroy my childhood. Um, Optimus Prime riding Grimlock? Mm-mm, never. Uh, Optimus Prime would be in two pieces. One, two. Uh, this riding Grimlock into battle to save the day? Mm-mm. I don't know. Some people are kind of hyped because they're like, oh, it's Mark Wahlberg. He's a really good guy. He's really funny. And, you know, he can he can kind of carry the movie better than Shia did. But it doesn't fix all the problems with the Transformers themselves. The humans are fine. Whatever. Fix the dinosaur or fix the Autobots. Fix the Dinobots. Fix the Decepticons. And whatever else we're going into in this nightmare of a movie. Michael Bay is just getting way too many of my childhood IPs on his hand, get in his hands. Ninja Turtles is another one I am dreading. But this one, I'll probably watch it only so that I can legitimately bash it for you guys next week. So we'll see how that works out. Um, games. We actually have a couple of games. Um, really only one that's really worth your money this week. We do have a Transformers game coming out to uh, run parallel with the launch of the movie. This is my parallel, by the way. Parallel, parallel. Um, but the big one is going to be indie, indie E3 favorite, The Valiant Heart, or The Valiant Hearts, The Great War. Uh, this will be for Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, and PC. This is a the World War One title that was uh, on the feels train of E3. Seems like all the games on E3 this year, all the trailers and announcements and stuff, were all like right right here, like just right here, boom. Um, this one is told through a cast of characters and a dog through World War I, uh, something that's not really been tackled before. It's got a really awesome stylized, uh, you know, cartoony feel to it. The animation looks awesome, and I'm pretty sure the story is going to follow suit. Uh, that's definitely going to be a pickup and a watch for me. Um, Transformers can go die in a fire. A big, giant fire. Which I'm sure Michael Bay would have caused with his explosions. Yeah. I'm sorry. Optimus Prime, forgive me. Um, anyway, so that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, it's a pretty quiet week overall. Um, so what guy, what are you guys going to go see? Are you going to go see Transformers just for the sake of seeing a Transformers movie? Or are you like me? You're going to go see it so that you can go and bash it on the internet later. Because that's what the internet's for, right? Um, what about games? Are you going to get the new Transformers game? I'm not. Uh, but Valiant Hearts, I'm definitely on the pickup for. Uh, that will be June 25th. I'm sorry, and then the other games are June 24th, so tomorrow. And then June 25th, which is Wednesday, will be Valiant Hearts. Um, I thank you guys for your patience in this little hiatus. I hope you haven't forgotten about us. Again, my name is Brian Pruitt because I forgot to do it in the beginning because it's my first day. 
And forget to go over to Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Strictly Nerd. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at Strictly Nerd, or you can check out our live blog and everything else at www.strictlynerd.com.